Welcome to No Travel Studio. Today, we will visit in Antarctica. You will watch and learn about Antarctica in this video. Please keep watching. Antarctica is Earth's southernmost and least populated continent. Situated almost entirely south of the circle and surrounded by the Southern Ocean, it contains the geographic South Pole. Antarctica is the fifth largest continent, being about 40% larger than Europe, and has an area of 14,200,000 square kilometers. Most of Antarctica is covered by the Antarctic Ice Sheet, with an average thickness of 1.9 kilometers. Antarctica is, on average, the coldest, driest, and windiest of the continents, and it has the highest average elevation. It is mainly a polar desert, with annual precipitation of over 200 mm along the coast and far less inland. About 70% of the world's freshwater reserves are frozen in Antarctica, which, if melted, would raise global sea levels by almost 60 meters. Antarctica holds the record for the lowest measured temperature on Earth, minus 89.2 degrees Celsius. Coastal regions can reach temperatures over 10 degrees Celsius in summer. Native species of animals include mites, nematodes, penguins, seals and tardigrades. Where vegetation occurs, it is mostly in the form of lichen or moss. Ice shelves of Antarctica were probably first seen in 1820, during a Russian expedition led by Fabian Gottlieb von Bellingshausen and Mikhail Lazarev. Decades that followed saw further exploration in French, American, and British expeditions. First confirmed landing was by a Norwegian team in 1895. In the early 20th century, there were a few expeditions into the interior of the continent. British explorers were the first to reach the magnetic South Pole in 1909, and the geographic South Pole was first reached in 1911 by Norwegian explorers. Antarctica is governed by about 30 countries, all of which are parties of the 1959 Antarctic Treaty System. According to the terms of the treaty, military activity, mining, nuclear explosions, and nuclear waste disposal are all prohibited in Antarctica. Tourism, fishing and research are the main human activities in and around Antarctica. During the summer months, about 5,000 people reside at research stations, a figure that drops to around 1,000 in the winter. Despite its remoteness, human activity has a significant impact on the continent via pollution, ozone depletion, and climate change. Positioned asymmetrically around the South Pole and largely south of the Antarctic Circle, one of the five major circles of latitude that mark maps of the world, Antarctica, is surrounded by the Southern Ocean. Rivers exist in Antarctica, the longest being the Onyx. Antarctica covers more than 14.2 million square kilometers, making it the fifth largest continent, slightly less than 1.5 times the area of the United States. Its coastline is almost 18,000 kilometers long. As of 1983, of the four coastal types, 44% of the coast is floating ice in the form of an ice shelf, 38% consists of ice walls that rest on rock, 13% is ice streams or the edge of glacier, and the remaining 5% is exposed rock. Lakes that lie at the base of the continental ice sheet occur mainly in the McMurdo Dry Valleys or various oases. Lake Vostok, discovered beneath Russia's Vostok Station, is the largest subglacial lake globally and one of the largest lakes in the world. It was once believed that the lake had been sealed off for millions of years, but scientists now estimate its water is replaced by the slow melting and freezing of ice caps every 13,000 years. During the summer, the ice at the edges of the lakes can melt, and liquid moats temporarily form. Antarctica has both saline and freshwater lakes. Antarctica is divided into West Antarctica and East Antarctica by the Transantarctic Mountains, which stretch from Victoria Land to the Ross Sea. The vast majority of Antarctica is covered by the Antarctic Ice Sheet, which averages 1.9 km in thickness. Ice sheet extends to all but a few oases, which, with the exception of the McMurdo Dry Valleys, are located in coastal areas. Several Antarctic ice streams flow to one of the many Antarctic ice shelves, a process described by ice sheet dynamics. During the Cambrian period, Gondwana had a mild climate. 
West Antarctica was partially in the Northern Hemisphere, and during the time, large amounts of sandstones, limestones, and shales were deposited. West Antarctica was at the equator, where seafloor invertebrates and trilobites flourished in the tropical seas. At the start of the Devonian period, Gondwana was in more southern latitudes, and the climate was cooler, though fossils of land plants are known from then. Sand and silts were laid down in what is now the Ellsworth, Horlick and Pesacola Mountains. Sea ice extent expands annually during the Antarctic winter, but most of it melts in the summer. Ice is formed from the ocean and does not contribute to changes in sea level. Average extent of sea ice around Antarctica has changed little since satellites began to observe the Earth's surface in 1978, which is in contra contrast with the Arctic, where there has been rapid sea ice loss. Possible explanation is that circulation transports warmed water to deeper layers in the southern ocean so that the surface remains relatively cool. Scientists have studied the ozone layer in the atmosphere above Antarctica since the 1970s. 1985, British scientists, working on data they had gathered at Halley Research Station on the Brunt Ice Shelf, discovered a large area of low ozone concentration over Antarctica. The ozone hole covers almost the whole continent and was at its largest in September 2006, the longest lasting event occurred in 2020. Depletion is caused by the emission of chlorofluorocarbons and halines into the atmosphere, which causes ozone to break down into other gases. Extreme cold conditions of Antarctica allow polar stratospheric clouds to form. Clouds act as catalysts for chemical reactions, which eventually lead to the destruction of ozone. 1987 Montreal Protocol has restricted the emissions of ozone-depleting substances. First semi-permanent inhabitants of regions near Antarctica, areas situated south of the Antarctic Convergence, were British and American sealers who used to spend a year or more on South Georgia, from 1786 onward. During the whaling era, which lasted until 1966, the population of the island varied from over 1,000 in the summer, over 2,000 in some years, to some 200 in the winter. Most of the whalers were Norwegian, with an increasing proportion from Britain. The continent of Antarctica has never had a permanent resident population, although staffed research stations are continuously maintained. Number of people conducting and supporting scientific research and other work on the continent and its nearby islands varies from about 1,000 in winter to about 5,000 in the summer. Some of the research stations are staffed year-round, the winter over personnel typically arriving from their home countries for a one-year assignment. Russian Orthodox Holy Trinity Church at the Bellingshausen Station on King George Island opened in 2004, it is manned year-round by one or two priests, who are similarly rotated every year. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video then please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel. Please leave your comment and let us know which country you want to visit next with us. See you in the next video, bye.